Oh, uh, good. Uh, fine, I'll be right there. In fact, I am leaving at this moment. Jim with D.A. finally came to his senses, and Alan can be released. Uh, where are you going? I'm going to post bail for your son. Well, that's not the way I plan to handle this. Edward, you said you weren't giving up on him. He is your son. I don't need reminding of that sorry fact. Now, look, all I was saying is, as long as we can keep him in the Huskow, we can keep him away from the Pilch. Isn't that right? Once he hits the streets, we lose our control. And don't think he won't make a beeline back to Cortland Street to resume his, his filthy drug habit. You will, Mom. But we have to take advantage of the last three days when he hasn't had any drugs, assuming he hasn't gotten any while he was in jail. Drive him directly from there to this rehab clinic that I spoke with yesterday. And I know in the past you were opposed to this, but I really... No, only because I was trying to avoid a public relations backlash. But now since he's gone and murdered his drug he dealer... He didn't kill anyone, Edward. You know that. It's too late for that now. A.J., what are you doing? Notifying the clinic. We're not pulling him out of jail until there's an opening. Well, buy one. Okay. You two do whatever you want to do. I am going to bring my husband home. Someone else was involved, Alan. Who? Taggart caught you dragging your dead dealer's body down the hall. Now, where'd you find the stiff? Alan, no one wants to see you take the fall for a crime you didn't commit, least of all me. Then let me out of here. Did you call my wife? It doesn't take a genius to connect the dots between Marino and your dead dealer. I don't know any dots, and I don't know anything about Marino. Alan, you're taking the fall for him. Okay, I didn't do it. Now let me out of here. Do you have any brain cells that haven't been fried yet? Do you know who Marino is, Alan? He is the one who tried to have Jason killed last year and Robin last summer. Now, we couldn't touch him then, but we might be able to this time, but you are not cooperating. I've said everything that I'm going to say. What if Jason's name is next on the list, huh? What about that? Marino has an agenda, Alan. Something is about to break. Do you understand that? I understand that you are badgering me. Now you're going to let me out of this hellhole? Oh, Monica, dear God, thank you. I was beginning to torture myself with every scenario that I was going to be left here to rot. You know, that nobody was going to show up. Oh, yeah, come on. You think I would just abandon you? Well, nobody would blame you. Maybe you should. All I want to do is get you out of here and get you back home where you belong. So you'll pay my bail? I already have. So, let's get you processed out of here and back to the house, okay? I can't go home. Alan, where else would you go? You cannot go back to Cortland Street. Will you stake me to a room at the Port Charles Hotel? Why? Because I'm not in recovery, Monica. The only reason I'm not using is because I couldn't get any pills in here. And that is because you cannot be left alone anywhere, Alan. Monica, you need to listen to what I have to say, please. I cannot possibly go back to that house. There are too many expectations that I cannot live up to. Certainly not today. If I'm going to get out of this, and I swear to you, I want to. I need to get out of it the same way that I got into it. On my own, by myself. All right, all right. Okay, then I'll just stay with you. No. No, don't you understand? Then I would only be trying to do it for you. I need to know that I did it. Alan, you will just start using again. If I'm going to use, Monica, nothing and nobody is going to stop me. And going back to that house, in fact, doing it any other way, is a surefire guarantee that I'm going to end up on Cortland Street. This has to be my choice. Please. Do you know how hard it is for me to just stand back and not take charge when I see somebody that's in trouble or that somebody that is suffering? It is such a helpless feeling, and I really, really hate it. But you are helpless, Monica. They 
only person that can help me is me. And please, I beg of you, please don't fight me. Because if you do, I'm going to have to use all my efforts to fight you back. And I don't have that much energy left. Okay. Well then, if it isn't me, then you have to get a sponsor or a support group or something, Alan, because you can't do it alone. You tried it and it didn't work. But that is a realization that I have to come to on my own. Don't you understand? That isn't something that you can tell me that I'm going to listen to or I'm going to respond to because every eye in the house is watching me. I have to want it. I have to want to know what the next step is. And going back to that house is certain doom. Okay. Okay, I will, uh... I will call the hotel. And there will be a room ready for you. Whenever you show up. Here, uh, need cat hair? But I don't. And you need food, and I hope, and I pray you don't use this for drugs. But, uh, you just do with it what you want. She said you have to go it alone, so. Thank you. <laughs> Did you know that I was really sorry? <laughs> that I'm really going to try to get better and find my way back for you and for Emily. Thank you.